Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm doing a brand new plugin review and the plugin in question is called Pin Authentication and this plugin, when you log into your server, it will prompt you for a pin so we'll do that right now, so I haven't set one yet but as I join, it will ask me to set a pin so I'm just going to do a nice simple one, one, two, three, four now also, it, it gives you a, a two um, a two authentication uh, code what you need to keep hold of, stick it in a notepad so what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to copy it down um, and I will show you that. So this is if you, you know, if you get your password or sync like that. So there we go. So I'm just going to copy that. That's all good there. So if I disconnect, I can rejoin and I can type in the password. I'm logged in. If I get it wrong, it will kick me out. So we'll just do that. There we go. Wrong. Keep going. And there we go, incorrect pin. So now let's say you've uh, lost your um, pin number and you want to log in. So we can click this button over here, forgot pin, and it'll ask you for the code to type in. So I'm gonna paste that in there. And there we go, and then it will prompt you to reset your pin number. So we'll do, uh, let's do, we'll do the same pin, or do one, two, three, then six for the new pin. And then it'll also give you a new number here. So we'll go and log in again. Uh, then we can clear a pin. So if we get it wrong, um, you know, or, uh, sorry, we'll do that clear. But we'll type in the proper one just like that. And we're ready to play. So then let's have a look at the config file. So you want to go to your plugins and then you want to look for pin auth authentication. And then we, it, it makes a user file. So if we click on here, we'll have a look at my user. So as you can tell here, this is the IP address. Uh, that's just home IP. Um, you got the bigger code and then you got the actual pin number here. But we'll have a look in the big one. So if you're using this on a public server, I'd recommend to connect it up to a database. Uh, you know, you can enable, disable. Uh, you can also set a timeout limit, what is there, might be handy, so maybe add that another 5 or another 10 seconds. So uh, if they don't type anything in, I'll show you that. And there we go, so if we don't type anything in, it will kick me in a minute. Uh, but we'll go back to here. You can also uh, reset all the messages, what is quite nifty, uh, so you can customise it to your server. And, it, and you see here, it sets a world spawn as well. So as you see, you must log in, it kicked me out. Right then guys, thank you for watching, make sure you subscribe, like, go and follow me on Twitter, and as usual, please put down all your plugins down in the comments if you want me to do any special reviews. So yeah, thanks a lot guys, thanks for watching, bye bye.